proton is, is, is a device which is a very large device. Uh, the proton is, uh, is not a new technology, it is there for, for, for a long time. But uh, what makes it a little bit unpopular is the cost of it and the bulk of it. It's a huge device. You need to install it in, in, in a space like a, a foot, um, basketball stadium. So you think about medical device and you need basketball stadium uh, because it, 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 it is large. Uh, and because it's large, it's costly because of the technology and the, the materials that it's made of. Uh, uh, 20 years ago, there is only four centers in the world, uh, the Proton. One of them is research and the other is just unique centers and they treat a small number of patients. Uh, in the uh, last 20 years, uh, Proton became uh, very useful in treating um, patient with, with, with cancer in an area which is very sensitive. Uh, for example, a uh, pediatric or child with a uh, back of brain tumor. So you like to treat the tumor, but with available facility in radiation oncology, while you're treating the tumors, you may affect the rest of the, of, of the brain. Uh, and when they grown up, they grown up with, with, with some um, uh, handicap uh, problems. So, uh, especially the, some of them became mentally affected in a way by, by the classical radiation. So, uh, Proton became popular for, for this kind of diseases, which is uh, affecting our uh, children. And uh, we used to send the patient uh, to the Proton Center outside Saudi Arabia. Uh, KFMC with, with, with an investor uh, came to an agreement that we will build the first proton facility in, in Middle East and in Saudi Arabia, uh, which is uh, going to cost around um, 300 million dollars or like 150 million pounds. Um, so uh, uh, with agreement with, with the investor uh, and uh, uh, KFMC, we come with the first uh, unique project where it is public uh, private partnership, uh, uh, triple P uh, uh, model. And uh, this is a new for the health sector in Saudi Arabia where it is uh, run completely by government. Uh, uh, we start building this, uh, this facility. The uh, architect completed uh, uh, the work in 2011 and uh, they start working and uh, next week they will start uh, installing the device itself. Uh, we're going to have this facility for the first time in Saudi Arabia, first time in the Gulf region, first time in the Middle East, where we hope we will help a lot of children with, with, with their cancer. Uh, they will get cured from cancer and they will get quality for their life. They will not lose uh, any of their uh, mental function, they will uh, going in the school normally. And uh, there's also new indication for proton and other areas part of from children it start to be used in lung cancer and also uh, renal cancer. There's a few indication which going to be uh, available in KFMC and that will make the cancer care uh, comprehensive in, in, in Saudi Arabia. So we have the primary care, the screening and treatment, and also the advanced uh, uh, facility for, for cancer treatment. Uh, we thinking that we're going to have patients from outside Middle East. Uh, we already approached by Italian group that they may send patients from Italy to Saudi Arabia. Um, and also we may receive patients from other uh, regional uh, uh, countries where they don't have the proton facility and they're going to send their patient to Saudi Arabia to get treated with the Proton. By the way, Proton is not yet available in England. Uh, so we may, uh, one day we receive a patient from England to be treated for Proton. Uh, and it was a public uh, issues in, in, in England, um, I think two months ago, when uh, a child with a brain cancer uh, uh, had to travel outside London outside if in England to get treated uh, with Proton. I think he was treated in, in Germany. Um, so uh, one day we may get patients from, from uh, UK to get treated with the Proton.